Hey there, people. Welcome to my channel. If you have not been here before, uh, yeah, and welcome to the crazy train, because we're going nuts over here. Um, this is Ubuntu Studio. It comes with pretty much all the audio, graphic, and video production design you will ever need for, uh, anything you choose to use that for, I guess. Uh, it does include, uh, floppy support, so that's another good positive. Just in case you have photos and documents and whatnot that are uh, backed up on floppy for some incredibly stupid reason, uh, it will show uh, on a live CD. It will show your hard drive, any attached media, your home folder, your file system folder for the uh, for the live media. We're here on the XFCE top bar, which is I think the first time that Ubuntu, as a natural uh, version of Ubuntu, the would use the XFCE bar. Um, uses Firefox as a default web browser, as most Ubuntu derivatives do. Uh, not much to see there besides the Ubuntu start page, really. Uh, you, I mean, you've basically got the perfect system for, except for maybe having a uh, a launch bar here or down here somewhere, or on the sides if you prefer that. If you're that kind of person. And that's not saying that those kind of people are bad people. I'm just saying that I per personally like the one at the bottom, or maybe at the top with the bar, with this bar at the bottom. I don't know. Just, um, yeah, this system's not too bad. It's uh, <laughs> not my usual. It's not something I'd be diving into real soon here or anything. Um, but it uh, it does have quite a bit of functionality as I said before, but uh, the downside is the install, or the ISO rather, is 2.8 gigabytes in size, which is not the usual for an Ubuntu derivative, although I gotta give them credit for adding in all that software, so you don't have to install it yourself. And uh, <laughs> it's pretty much ready out of the box, like most distributions of Linux are, except for maybe Tiny Core or something like that. But uh, nothing installed on it really, unless you want to install certain programs and stuff on it, and uh, that's going to take a while. So, <laughs> I would not fool around with Tiny Core unless you're just planning on doing that as a review or something like that. So, uh, but this Ubuntu Studio is exactly what it says. It's a studio, basically, it's just your audio, graphic, and video production, and then you've got your accessories. You've got your education. Oh, look at that education. And games. You've got two games. <laughs> so enjoy that. <laughs> um, you got a couple media players. You got your office production, your document viewers for uh, PDF, your regular uh, office suite by Libre. And uh, your calendar and clock. Yeah. So then you've got your about. Ubuntu Studio stuff. You got like uh, the XFCE top about that. This thing here. Um, then you've got your help and documentation. So you might not even have to go online for a lot of your questions that you may ask about Ubuntu Studio. So yeah, um, right now I'm using this as a live uh, a live session user on a live media. So that's uh, that's always something to keeping. Uh, in thought that this is a little bit slower because it is on an older 2.0 instead of a 3.0, which I plan on getting a laptop of 3.0 here soon, hopefully. Oh, that's going to be a long time, actually, <laughs> until I can find the time to go ahead and talk to the bank and whatnot. And anyway, I'm getting on a rant here, so I'm going to go ahead and conclude this uh, with a positive note and. Uh, say that Ubuntu Studio is not that bad of a distro. I would totally use this um, other than the fact that I'd have to install Docky or something because I am that kind of <laughs> I'm that kind of person who likes a dock at the bottom or something. I know it sounds more Apple-ish, but I prefer Linux because it's open source and easier to use. But yeah, um, positive note. Great distro. Love it. Not too much, but I do love it. And uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more.